Previously on Pokemon Sword. Hello, hello, Wedgers. Your champion, Leon, is back. Line up. Pokemon Trainer Hop sent out Wool. Then he has two Pokemons, and I only have one. Check it. Let's check it up. What happened? The gate's open, and the Wool that was there. Oh no. Oh, Charizard already took care of it. <laughs> Hello YouTube, we are back for another episode of Pokemon Sword. So picking up from where we let off, we are going to meet Mom and get our Pokedex from the Professor. Tum Tum. Well now, isn't Grookey just a sweetheart? And yes, I heard the news from young Leon. I'm glad someone bothered to tell me. Off to Wedgers, aren't you? Here we are. A bit of pocket money for your journey. Buy yourself a little something at the Pokemon Center. Maybe some potions or something. We'll use this to buy Pokeballs, mom. <laughs> Remember that Grookey will battle to the very end of you. Very end for you. So don't you go pushing the... Poor dear too hard. Tim Tim And you, Grookey, look after my little kindred. Come home to rest anytime that you need. After all, east or west, home is best. Definitely. Looks like your sweet Grookey might be running on empty. Let's have you rest up. Okay, so by talking to mom we can heal our Pokemon. Our party. Don't have anything else to do the, to do here. So let's go to Edge first. But first, we are going to meet Hop, who is waiting for us. Bye, Budu. Here we go. This is quite the big step, you know. My first step toward becoming the next champion. Guess I'll probably train up Sobble a bit by having it battle against Pokemon in the tall grass. You should get yourself to the building with the purple roof and the great red and white ball mark out on front. But that's the Pokemon Research Lab. I guess I need to go there first. Wait, what? Never mind. Fine. We love to go through the long way. And I don't have any Pokeball yet. Can't catch anything. Hold on, let me check. Let me check what's in the what's in our bag. Oh, we have five Pokeballs. Guess we can catch this little rookie rookie D. Just gonna lower his health for a bit. Maybe around yellow. Or perhaps we can use the branch poke to lower it to critic. Never mind. Uh, let's try catching him now. Alright, that's good. Otherwise, if he used another peck on my dear rookie, this boy would have pain would have fainted. Learn taunt. Anti setup. Would you like to give Rookie D a nickname? No for now. Maybe I'll use I'll use a potion. Catch this one as well. Squavet. I'm still familiarizing myself with the names of the new Pokemon. 
So please bear with me. Taunt, scratch. I guess we can use branch poke. Since this one is a normal type. Okay, another branch poke should decrease his health up to critical. Nice. Into the Pokeball you go. By the way guys, I'm going to try and catch as much as Pokemon as possible, as many as possible. Especially in the wild area once we are there. So there may be an episode dedicated to it. Let me check what type is Squabet. Normal. While Rookie is flying. Wait, another. I'm gonna run from this one. An exclamation mark? Never mind. It's another. It's another bird. Maybe let's catch this Wolo instead. Meh! <laughs> What type is Wulu? Grass type? Effective. Oh, okay. It actually has a note below it per move, and it will say whether a move is effective, super effective, or not very effective, perhaps. Hmm, another branch poke. Don't faint, okay. Huh? Welcome to the team, Wulu. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, welcome to the team four now. Let me check what type Wulu is. Normal. Paralyze Heal. It's pretty type medicine for treating paralysis. It can be used to free a single Pokemon that has been paralyzed. What's that? That's a new one. Uh, let's catch that one. Looks like a fox. Wild Nick Nicket. Doesn't say anything about which move would be effective. I guess the note only appears when you have already encountered that specific Pokemon before. Wait, it's level 3 while I am level 8. I'll just use Scratch. That's quick attack. Okay, we should use a Pokeball now. We don't even have a Pokedex yet. And we already caught... Four Pokemon? Four new Pokemon.
What's Blip Bug? So many new Pokemon popping up. This one wasn't shown in any trailers. Hmm. Probably a bug type, so we can use a branch poke. So we won't faint it. Yeah, definitely a bug type. Because it's not very effective. Come on, Grookey. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't faint on me. Special attack fell. Nice. Gook is already level 9. Time to go. Hmm. Where should we go first? Uh... What is this? Wait, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm not supposed to see it. Didn't mean. You can talk to this guy. They will just see out the window of a train. Never stops changing. Isn't it lovely? Oh, Pokemart. May I help you? I'm here to buy. To buy Pokeballs. Hey, wait. You aren't selling any Pokeballs, just potion. The train has been delayed due to a rail car inspection. Hmm. Mom actually gave us quite a lot of money. We have 30k? Boink, boink, boink. Champions here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know, we know. I just remembered what the sign here used to say. To the right is the Pokemon lab. On the opposite side is the station. But where's the Pokemon center? It's still blocked. Because I need to get the Pokedex first. That rather grand building beside us is the Pokemon Research Lab. But if it's Professor Magnolia you're seeking, you'll find her at home. Down the far end of Road 2. Okay, so she's not in the lab. But I'll, I'm still going to pass by. Well done! You reached the goal and managed to find the Pokemon Research Lab. You did a far sight better than I did my first time. I'm hopeless with directions. See how your world has already grown, all thanks to having Pokemon with you. I know I'm sure glad I've got Charizard with me, to keep me from getting lost all the time. Now in we go! Grrr! <laughs> that's, that's a lot of books. We've got to give it to Professor Magnolia. Everything in here looks fascinating. What? It's the doggo. What is this guy's name again? <laughs> what is it today, Leon? Looking for info on another never before seen super strong Pokemon? I wish you'd stop with these outlandish requests. Alright, Yamper. This Pokemon's name is Yamper, the doggo. <laughs> Yamper, is, Yamper here is a real champ when it comes to helping you find your way around. He came to my rescue plenty of times back in the day, when I got lost on the road. Oh yeah, and that's his trainer, Sonia. What can I say about Sonia? Well, I like the way she cooks. She makes food you can gobble down in a flash. What kind of an introduction is that? Did you forget we were rivals during our gym challenge? It wasn't just Yamper helping you out. 
I did too. Anyway, nice to meet you. Name's Sonia. I'm the professor's assistant. This is Kindred. He's a new Pokemon trainer. Set him on the right path, would you? She going also to travel. What does he think I am? He's always got his head in the clouds. It's no wonder he gets lost all the time. Oh, looks like you've got a Rotom phone. Hey there, Rotom. Zzz. Rotom phones are handy little things, aren't they? They've got a map and navigation tool. That said, Leon still gets lost, so... Oh well. <laughs> oh, sorry. But tell me, do you know a lot about Pokemon? Of course we do. Well said. In that case, I'll make it so that you can use the Pokedex on your Rotom phone. <laughs> That's neat. Similar to Sun and Moon, sort of. Just so you know, that Pokedex is a gift from my gran. Did you let gran know that you received the Pokedex? She lives in the house down along Route 2. Sure, sure, sure. Let's go there. Won't you, won't you come along with us? Guess not. Maybe there's something here we can get. Like a potion. What is the Dynamax phenomenon? This phenomenon in which Pokemon take on gigantic forms has only been observed in the Galar region. Moreover, it only seems to occur in specific locations under set conditions. On the Gentification of Pokemon. While the general principle holds that Pokemon grow stronger and larger by evolving, it is also true that simply making oneself appear larger is another survival strategy with merit. Few info about Dynamax and Gigantamax. What's this? The whiteboard is positively covered with notes from top to bottom. Oh, it's a study for Dynamax, I guess. Study for Dynamax Phenomenon. Anyway, let's head to the Pokemon Center first. Bye, Yamper. See you later. Hey there, trainer. Sorry to stop you. You just left the Pokemon Lab, right? So that means you've got a Pokedex, yeah? I love talking to new trainers and giving them useful stuff. Oh, thanks for the potion. Appreciate it, man. Knowledge is power. It's a good idea to talk to lots of different people and read everything you can on your journey. If you ever get lost during your travels, don't forget your trusty town map. All around here is just quiet countryside, but wait until you see a big city. It'll take your breath away. Now, can I go to the Pokemon Center? Still no. <laughs> Hop, please. Got your Pokedex from Sonya. Then it's time to meet lots of different Pokemon and start building up a strong team. That battling strong Pokemon in the wild can leave your team in a bad way. Not to mention what battling another trainer can do. Luckily, we've got Pokemon Centers. Luckier yet, they're dead easy to spot. They look the same wherever you go. Come on, Kindred. Bet you've never been inside one. What? How old is the protagonist anyway? How old are we in the game? <laughs> it's just one town away. Never mind. Level with me, Kindred. Is this your first time in a Pokemon Center? Well, based on my previous adventures back then, it's not so. Then I don't think you need me to tell you what you already know. <laughs> As he was gonna give us a tour inside. You two kids are Pokemon trainers, you might want to buy some potions before you head out. Cheers, I'm already good though. I'm heading to Route 2, Kindred. Come find me, maybe, when you're done here. 
All right, I'll see you on Route 2, Hop. Let me just buy a few stuff and leave my party first. They are not sh it is now showing everyone in the party. Hope to see you again. Thank you, Nurse Joy. How about you? It's true that wild Pokemon can be scary. But once they become your allies, there is nothing more reliable. Foo -foo -foo. Wait, what is this? Forgot the name of that Pokemon. I mean, it looks similar to Odino? I mean, I can't ask the guy what Pokemon is that. Got some Pokemon questions, feel free to ask away. With a nickname, remember a move, forget a move. No, this is neat. No longer need hard skills to make Pokemon remember a move. Basically, we can find this guy in every Pokemon Center. And if you want to remember a move, just go to a Pokemon Center. If you want to forget one, just go to a Pokemon Center. If you want to give your Pokemon a nickname, then just go here. Perhaps let's give Guruki a nickname. I'm gonna I'm gonna give Grookey a different name. Uh where's Cut? Wait, 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 no. Oh there we go. I'm going to name Grookey. Grud. <laughs> Will I rate another Pokemon's name? Nope. Nope for now. Let's deposit some Pokemon from our party. Actually, we let's keep them here. So if we do catch some Pokemon in the wild area, then they're also going to level up. And some of them may just evolve. I'm here to buy, I'm here to sell, I'm here to buy. I'm here to buy Pokeballs. I need... No, no, I don't want to heal, burn, burn heal. I need Pokeballs. Where can I buy Pokeballs? I thought there should be a Pokeball here, what? Uh, do I need to press a button? No, no, no. Guess not. Maybe someone will give us Pokeballs later. Hey! <laughs> this month's birthday horoscope spot on. You want me to tell you your fortune too? Yes, yes, yes. In that case, can you tell me the month you were born? September. Next, I need to know what day you were born. 24? Okay, I got it. So your birthday is September 24. Yeah, yeah, you got that right. So since you were born on September 24, your fortune is... Let's see here. Hey. Honey. What's the stain here? Oh, this must be from my snack. The page is smudged and I can't really read it. What? Please. People with their birthday are going to be super duper lucky. You might even run into a legendary Pokemon or maybe not. Anyway, see you later. You just tricked me on giving you... What? I can actually do a pose when performing certain moves. <laughs> Let's try that again. Anyway, she just tricked me into giving my personal information. <laughs> Let's try that again. Oh, nice. <laughs> I 
In the morning, my Pokemon wakes me up, and in the evening, I put my Pokemon to bed. I can't imagine life without Pokemon. If you're looking for the Pokemon Professor, you can usually find her at her lovely home by the lake, enjoying the slow life. What's this? Berries! I've got your fresh pick berries! What do you say? Interested in something? Cornberry, cherry... Nah. This is the girl from earlier. <laughs> she looks like that one, but guess not. Heard that Leon has a younger brother. I bet he's an amazing trainer. Just like Leon! Oof, oof, oof. Having a meal with their Pokemon makes the food taste extra good. We got an item here. What is this? A Pokezol. Zol attracts the attention of Pokemon. It guarantees escape from any battle with wild Pokemon. It's fun to do some shopping in the boutique. Even just getting a new hat can change your whole new, your new look. Your look. Hey, I guess here we can customize our look. Did you know that each shop offers a different line of, of apparel brands? I think the brands they carry here might be a bit too young looking for me. This is designed for us. If you want to put on something you've bought, go ahead and use the feeding room. Okay, so... We buy from her. Welcome to our boutique. Anything I can help you find? Alright. This may take a while. <laughs> Maybe we should check the next town first. Yeah, let's check the next town first. Can't buy everything. We have this one. I like this one. We've spent a lot of time there. We go to the professor now. Isn't Kindred, I've been thinking. If you're a Pokemon trainer now, you must want to try your hand at the gym challenge, right? He's not giving me any option here. Like, he really wants to explain it. The gym challenge, mate. The animal competition where trainers can battle it up for the right to challenge the champion. The trick is that you've got to be endorsed if you want to take part. Okay, so we can't directly... Can't directly challenge a gym leader. And Lee doesn't think. And Lee doesn't seem to think I'm up to stuff. I'm thinking I ought to talk to the professor and see if she could help. You've got to take part too. Yeah, let's go. Proper rival is just the thing every trainer needs to keep growing stronger after all. Keeps him motivated, right? The professor's house is way down at the end of Route 2, so let's head there and give our teams the chance to train up a bit along the way. Let me check this house first. We're gonna answer without even knocking. Sonia and Leon used to have a healthy rivalry, but... Okay, but... What happened to Sonia? Leon loves Pokemon and loves Pokemon battles. I remember he would... Always go all out. Even on practice matches. Can I have a food, please? Joke. Never mind. Basics for Pokemon Trainers. Lesson 1. The Pokemon at the top of your team will be the one. Will be the first one to enter battle. Know that? Basics for Pokemon Trainers. Lesson 2. Don't forget to record your progress often. Basic for Pokemon Trainers Lesson 3. If a Pokemon uses a move that matches its type, the move's power increases. Okay, same type attack bonus or stab in short. In order to bring out the full strength of their Pokemon, trainers must be knowledgeable. This guy seems... That is an important one. <laughs> See that house in the distance with a purple roof? That's where the Pokemon Professor lives. Alright, thank you for the info. Let me try walking. Not bad. Route 2. Hello, Hop. Over here, Kindred. Give me some Pokeballs, man. <laughs> Alright, Kindred, it's time we filled in our teams a bit. 
and I'm here to teach you how. You'll need to catch Pokemon if you've got any hope of filling in that Pokedex. You already caught four, Leon. <laughs> Lee, where'd you come from? Only. Look at you, little kindred. You've already caught some on your own, of course. <laughs> your mom gave you those Pokeballs, did she? I'll give you some more Pokeballs. In return, I'll only ask that you catch plenty of Pokemon. The Pokemon around here seem easy to catch. Almost like they're itching to join some trainer's team, wouldn't you say? Oh, that's very nice of you, Leon. I needed that. I needed that. Put a Pokeball in your bag. A Pokemon on your team will get experience points when you catch Pokemon soon. And of course, they get experience, po experience points from battle. So take on other trainers you meet along the path to help your Pokemon thrive. Your team will keep on changing and growing as you get stronger together, no doubt. But even I don't know exactly how yet. Show your champion something good, alright? Alright, I'm gonna catch loads of Pokemon. The professor will be shocked when she sees. Well, if there's anything new here... Is there anything new Pokemon here? Then sure! Uh... Who is this? Already have you, Blipbug. Probably the same ones from before. I'm just gonna go ahead. Oh! Hi! Wanna battle me? We've met in the eye. Not yet. Hold on, let me check the nature of the other... of the others. Bashful. So no stat increase whatsoever in... in this one is modest. How about this one? Naughty. A naughty wool, I see. And this fox. Which is a dark type. It's a brave nature. I'll stick with Grad for now. With Guruki. It's common man for trainers to battle when their eyes meet. Wait, let's hurry up and go to the professor. Rod. Does he have another one? A lot of them level up. Four of them leveled up. I'm taking your money from you. Help me buy new clothes. I want that item, Rookity. Not you. Not you, not you. What does this say? Trainer tips. Pokemon can gain experience points by battling other Pokemon. Experience points can help them grow stronger. Your Pokemon will still get experience points even if you catch a Pokemon you are battling against. We jump here. Nice. It's that fox. We already have one. There's another one there. Hey. Nah. Wait a bit. There's an item. There's an item. More Pokeballs for us. I think this one's new. Search kit? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Chutil. Chutil. 
Pikachu too. Hmm. I think you're a water type. Let's just use Scratch. <clears throat> water type indeed, since he, he just used water gun. One more scratch before we throw a poke. No! What did you do? Grad! No, Grad! Why'd you faint him? <laughs> Grad, please. Oh, another one. Let's catch him. I want to catch this guy. Stop fainting them, Pokemon Grod. Okay. Maybe I'm just going to decrease this guy's health to yellow. enough to catch him join me nice Pokemon gain experience points Dear Guruki, he's already level 10. Oh, since we already have a Pokedex, whenever we catch a new Pokemon, we'll show its data. Type, height, weight, and number battled. I think this one's new. Apparently, the itch of its teething impels it to snap its jaws at anything in front of it. We like to give Chetul a nickname. Nope, for now. Uh, set into a party and remove blip bug. Or I think this guy's going to evolve soon. So I mean, similar to Caterpie and Weedle. Maybe I'll remove Wulu. Another trainer battle. Good and strong together in combination. Challenged by Last Lauren. And she has such a chill. <laughs> I should have sent out my Chutu as well, but never mind. We're kind of in a hurry. Sorry, lad. Rookie D learned Horn Claws. Are we cute and nothing more? It looks like our strength still has a ways to go. <laughs> another Chutul. And another trainer battle. Let me check what... What Chutul's nature is. Surely this guy has a high defense. Special defense. Quiet. Fight us high special attack and low speed. Well, maybe once I get to the wild area, that's where I'm going to side. Who's going to stay on my team for a while? Thinking if I should find a good nature for your bird Pokemon. Which evolves into Corby Knight. Struggle bug, uh, don't die. Don't die! No! What have you done?
let's send Rookie D out. Type advantage. I have avenged Grodd. No experience points for our dear Grookey because he fainted. And he has another one. Power trip, what is this? Move info. Tribos is strength and attacks the target. The more the user stats are reached, the greater the move's power. Dark type. Mmm. Interesting. Let's use one horn clause first. To increase both attack and accuracy. We don't really need to increase the accuracy. Since we only have tech and power trip. And another quick attack. I think it used quick attack. And that should do. Okay, Rookity Groot to level 9. Let's go here. Look, there's a professor! So have you unraveled all the secrets of the Dynamax phenomenon yet? Oh goodness, no. The whole thing is still full of questions. I'd hoped that my granddaughter would take over the re over my research, but... Sonya's going to travel too, joke. Maybe. Dear me, so I'm sorry. I didn't even notice my guests. My name is Magnolia. Welcome, young trainers. Now come, let's head indoors. Why, Hop, dear? I see Wulu has made some new friends. And you must be kindred. I trust you received the Pokedex from Sonya. Yes, I'm sure you'll have it complete in no time. Perhaps? You must already know about Dynamaxing, right, Kindred? Yeah, based on what I have read, based on the trailers, <laughs> Pastor Magnolia has been doing research into the Dynamax phenomenon for years and years. And it takes a proper understanding of the thing if you plan to use Dynamaxing to the fullest. There you go again, Leon, always talking about Pokemon. There are other things that are worth knowing about too, you know? Like how many different types of tea there are? <laughs> Hey, Professor, do us a favor, would you? Help me convince Lee he should endorse us for the gym challenge. Oh, Leon, why wouldn't you endorse them? Up and, Kindred, Up and Kindred only just started out as Pokemon trainers, so there's still loads they don't know yet. Deary, I thought your dream was to have everyone in the Galar region become strong trainers, isn't that right? Well, yeah, you're not wrong. That goes precisely the reason I gave them both Pokemon, in fact. Right then, in that case, how about this? Let's see if the two of you can show me such a brilliant battle that I'm left with no choice but to endorse you. And don't worry, I'll make sure both your teams are in good shape before the battle starts. Okay. But... Another battle against Hop. Now remember, be sure to give it everything you've got. The best thing you can do for your Pokemon and for yourself too. Who's this guy? Do what plants would want instead of what you want. If you want to keep, if you, if you keep that in mind, plants will grow. Interesting. What's up in here? It's a library joke. Just kidding. Uh, probably the professor's room. Should we switch who's in front of our party? Let's change it to... Let's change it to Chateau. 
I'll save Grod. Great time to battle you again, Hop. Let's go. Let's get this over with. I'm rather interested in seeing how you two young trainers battle too. Listen, you two, the reason I'm unbeatable is because I learn from every battle I see or take part in. That's how I've gotten to where I am today. So show me something good in this battle. It's time for my legend to begin. Or my legend. So how many Pokemon do you have? Three. And it's Wooloo, as usual. Let's go just to... If you got in a bit stronger, me and my team will put you to the test and see. It is Wooloo, uh, it's pure water. So I'm gonna use Water Gun for... Stab bonus, same type attack bonus. Level 6 Wulu. That's gonna do nothing since we are using Water Gun. Just gonna keep on using Water Gun. Till we faint Wulu. By the way, we have our Barras. Style a set so we won't be able to switch Pokemon after Wolo faints. Okay, Chutu will level up, including Blip Bug and Nick it. Fight water with water. Just use the growl on me. Anyway, let's try using bite. Okay. Water gun. That's not going to be very effective. Let's see how much damage this deals. Mm. That's going to be stronger. One more. One more bite before we switch. Oh, we went for growl. That's two stages decreased for Chutul's attack. Attack power. You can take one more water gun and pound. Water gun or pound. Did we switch to Rookity? Let's switch to Rookity. I'm not going to allow him to faint. Another growl. I'm going to use... Bone Claws. Another growl. Oh well, I guess we should use... Let's go for Peck. Actually, I'm interested in Power Trip, so maybe we can use one more one class or three. Keeps on using Growl. Once we decrease my attack power, that's bad. Use an okay. <laughs> I'll try using power trip. The thing with power trip is that it doesn't exactly say what's that is super raised, but rather the more the user's stats are raised, the greater the boost power. So basically, whichever stat. And he attacked. 
Let's try power trip. Unfortunately, unfortunately, no same type attack bonus. Let's faint him with Peck. Another growl. Keep on growling. Okay, Rookie is already level 10. It'll be a close one, but that's exactly my sort of match. Not really a close one when I still have... 6 Pokemon Hop. Let's see which Rookie is better, yours or mine. It's Peck versus Peck. Two more. Need to attack him. Two more packs, or shall we try power trip again? Okay, stronger. <laughs> it's actually stronger. Much of my Pokemon is leveling up. There you have it. There you have it, we won. And I even got my Pokeball throw perfect too. <laughs> Sting of defeat and the joy of victory. I guess going through both is the key to the two of us getting stronger, right? Indeed. Kindred Hop. Well, after seeing a match like that one, I suppose I have little no choice but to give you both an endorsement as champion. Finally. Letter of endorsement. Letter of recommendation that you'll need in order to participate in the gym challenge. Okay, that would be for our first gym. Yes, thanks Lee. Sure, I'm going to win my way through the gym challenge to reach you. You may both be young still and plenty rough around the edges, but it was a proper battle. Charizard and I were both feeling the excitement in every last cell in our bodies. Hop. I've always tended to get caught up in things like how you throw your Pokeball out. Things that have nothing to do with real strength. Honestly, I've been worried about you still obsessing over that sort of nonsense, but st but it seems you re really have grown a bit, little brother. And I'd like to see some more thrilling Pokemon battles out of you too, Kindred. Alright, Kindred, you and me are going to train up against one another to aim for that champion saddle. Sure, absolutely. The more we keep battling against one another, the more our Pokemon will grow. Huh? What is that? Yeah, what is that? Shall we check? Is it Dynamax related? Oh, never mind. They're wishing stars. Since there are two of them, you should take one yourself. It's in a wishing star. I wonder what it is for. Stone found in the Galar region with a mysterious power. It said that your dreams come true if you find one. Hmm. Oh, okay, so. You use this for Dynamaxing. <coughs> Excuse me. First, you suppose something like this. They say wish stars fall down for those who have a true wish in their heart, you know? I will be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever! There, I've said it three times, so surely my wish will come true now, right? Don't be silly, Hop. Those wishing stars are composed of a curious sort of rock containing unknown power. They are one of the most precious resources we have here in the Gala region, but they won't do a thing for you in that state. Give them to me now and you'll have and I'll have you sorted. Alright, you've done heaps of research on the Dynamax phenomenon, haven't you, Professor? Then please give Kindred and me the power to Dynamax our Pokemon. First we got to battle against that mad Pokemon in the slumbering wild and now this really feels like we're getting caught up in the adventure of a lifetime. I do understand your excitement, young man, but don't get carried away. You want to save your energy for tomorrow's journey. Seems I came back home right in time for all the excitement. Hello, Sonia. Hey, you lot. Why not have some dinner? You must be hungry, right? I've been totally obsessed with making the latest trendy curries. 
Oh, I would love some curries. So we're done eating the curries, I think. It's morning at last and time for our adventures to truly start. Good morning to you, young challengers. Uh, is it true that you met some Pokemon you didn't recognize? Is there anything more you can tell me about it? Er, well, there was weird heavy fog, and then this even weirder Pokemon appeared. Kindred tried to fight it off to fight it off. But then I think we both passed out or something. It's all pretty hazy. A right fount of information you are. Kindred hop, these are for you. It's a Dynamax band from Professor Magnolias and slipped it on your wrist. Those are your Dynamax bands. I made them by fitting the wishing stars you found last night into those bands. Thank you, Professor. It's just like the one he has on him too. Now we can Dynamax our Pokemon like he does. My word, you don't waste any time, do you? I think you'll find it... It's not so simple as all that. There are a number of conditions you must meet if you hope to have your Pokemon Dynamax and take on that gigantic form. But don't be afraid to go to all sorts of places and meet all sorts of Pokemon. That will help fill out your Pokedex too. The Legend of My Reign is finally about to begin. Come on Kindred, I'll beat you to the station. What's that? Why? Why come? Mycom offers many ways to connect with other players. You'll be welcome to have Pokemon, take part in Pokemon battles, and more. There are shortage of things to do. When stamps arrive in Mycom while you're out on your adventure, it means that other trainers are around and looking for someone to connect with. Press the Y button to see us around. Okay. Normally, you can use Mycom to connect with people close by, but if you press the plus button, plus button. The plus button and connect to the internet to be able to connect to people around the world. Mmm, I see. I like a stamp that shows the silhouette of a Pokemon on it and be able to team up with your fellow traders to battle Pokemon. I see. Okay. Alright, folks. This will be the end of episode 2. For now. So, see you in the next one. Chop, chop.